Well, we all know that Arizona almost seems like a magnet for self-driving cars, and now you can add semi-trucks to the list. Team 12's William Pitts got an exclusive look at Waymo's driverless trucks. Chances are you've probably seen one of these Waymo semi-trucks driving around town, but they're not just delivering things for Waymo. They're actually self-driving. Just because you see somebody behind the wheel doesn't mean they're actually driving it. These Waymo driverless minivans are one thing. Self-driving semi-truck? That's something else. We have sensors that are positioned on the sides and the top that have a field of view that can look at the front. Waymo's been driving, or actually not driving, a fleet of semis around Chandler for a while now. Trucking is also one of the deadliest professions in the United States, so there's an opportunity for us to prevent the thousands of fatalities and hundreds of thousands of injuries that occur uh, every year. And that's one of Waymo's main selling points. Waymo believes that taking the human out of driving is ultimately safer. The semi-trucks use basically the same technology as the minivans. The black domes on the top and sides house sensors and cameras that let the truck see where it's going. Other sensors on the side tell it what's around it. But driving a truck is much different than driving a minivan. See, there's a huge trailer behind it, which creates blind spots for the trucks. Um, another example is they accelerate and brake differently than vehicles, sometimes much slower than vehicles. Waymo's cars need incredibly detailed scans of every street they drive on. That's why you can't just ride one anywhere in the valley. But Waymo says the trucks don't need all that information. It doesn't have to be that you map every single city and surface street uh, in the world. You can start by mapping the freeways and the selective hubs that the trucks are going to. So basically, Waymo did the hard stuff first. For now, there are still two drivers in the truck at all times, just to make sure it's working. Waymo says it plans to go fully driverless on the trucks and the cars soon. William Pitts, 12 News.